Because I cannot wait to marry you yeah. and have a wedding to you. Yes. And I'm obsessed with wedding planning and I'm not ashamed. Oh, she farted. Vlogs. Yeah, she be farted. She farted on me. <laughs> on your if you're so important, why well, haven't met you in five years? Remember, you gotta go pee pee on the potty. He started peeing. The way that wedding venues do it is you pay per person for everything. I love it. I like it too. A lot. Will you wear a wedding dress to the wedding? They took a boat? Yes. Look. You wish that was That's you, huh? <laughs> <laughs> like, girl, put it away. Put it away. We don't have that money. <laughs> Y'all, I'm on Instagram looking at wedding inspo and i just watched the most beautiful wedding at lake como in italy which y'all know those lake como weddings be insane like you just know it costs a million dollars minimum and they took a boat to the wedding and maybe i want to take a boat to the wedding <laughs> maybe first of all we not even buy the water if we get our venue that we want second of all you don't got we don't got boat money so <laughs> Don't speak that into existence. We may. At this time, we cannot afford boat money, but we might have boat money. You don't want to speak those things. What up, you two? <laughs> we back. Annoying. <laughs> You're annoying. You're annoying. And if I want a boat, you better figure it out. What up, YouTube? What up? We back. We back. What's poppin'? What's poppin'? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button and throw us a like if you like what you see what we're doing today, baby. We are doing a boat to our wedding. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not. That's what I want. That's what I want. That's what I want. What up, YouTube? What up? We're back. We're back. What's poppin'? What's poppin'? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button and throw us a like if you like what you see what you do. What we doing today, baby? We are vlogging. We're going to breakfast with my best friend's like family. He's out of town. He just asked me to be the godmom of his daughter last week. So we're going to see my goddaughter and hang out with her. And his parents, who flew in from England, because he's British, are going to cook us breakfast. And it'll be his girlfriend and her like their family. So it'll be fun. Yeah. Um, what is he making us? Saltfish and ackee, which if you from the islands or Jamaica, you know is bomb. I've never had it, so I'm y'all know that I'm about to bust down, Tatiana. Yeah, we've been like taking this weekend to literally just chill mm -hmm. out at home. Um, we ended up going to our neighbor's graduation party yesterday, mm -hmm. which was fun. But other than that, we kind of cleared our schedule this weekend. So we've just been hanging out. Yeah, hanging out, making time for each other because we haven't had time for just us lately. Yeah, it's been, you know, life is insane. So I've really enjoyed it and I don't want it to end even though, anyway, I'm going to have to go to work again. I know, I know. So yeah, we're getting up. All right, we're getting up. What's the time right now? Um, it's nine o'clock, but we've been up. We watched Rent. It was so cute. I absolutely loved it. It's Lindsay's favorite movie. It was my fave growing up, and I was like, we gotta watch it. Look at it. Love it. Yeah. Did you like it? What do you give it? I give it an 8 out of 10, strong 8. It's an 8 because I don't like musicals, but it's an 8 because it was also really good. Yeah. And then it's an 8 also because it's your favorite movie, so it was like fun to see like what it was about it that made you love it growing up. <laughs> Right, Bryson. And what was it? <laughs> the, the lesbians. Yeah. You obviously loved it because it was very queer. And you like musicals, though. I still Like, do. overall. I so, know. <laughs> she keeps pretending like she doesn't, but she is a musical fan. I think I am. You are. You thought I wasn't going to like it? Well, I mean, yeah. I wouldn't. Not like, I didn't think you were not going to like it, but like, it was. it's a, it's a musical, so, mm -hmm. you know. I wouldn't have been upset. 2005? I thought it came out before that. We reenacted one of the musical scenes here in our bedroom this morning. The lesbian little... Take me, baby! Or leave me! Take me, baby! 
Oh, oh. <laughs> Not the teta. We're dressed and we are on our way to brunch technically because it's 11.30 a.m. now. Starving Marvin. <laughs> Ain't no word. And we just got a text. So we had um, the bed frame delivered to our house yesterday. No, today. This, this morning. morning. For one of the guest bedrooms. And we just got a text that the person that's going to assembly it, assemble it comes at 1 p.m. And it's 12 o'clock right now. So we got to try to figure that out. See if they can come a little bit later. Or else it's going to throw off the whole day. Literally throw off the whole day. Figure something out, but we're on our way to brunch and we're starving, and I cannot wait to have a Caribbean breakfast. I'm so excited. I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited too. I have no idea what it is. <laughs> What's ackee? It's like a type of like fish. No, no, ackee uh, and salt fish. Ackee is like a type of like a uh, bread that you have. Oh, uh, okay. Is it fish? The like, salt fish is, is it fish. like fried fish? Is it fried? It's not fried, but it's good. Oh, I'm excited. Yeah, it's not fried. I love fish. Is it like a sauce? No, it's like a starch. Oh. Yeah, that's a good. That's good. Instead of bread, so like it's a, a starch. Side. Yeah, like a side. Ackee and saltfish. And you eat it like they're normally a, a little combo. But it's one of my favorites. And Zach's dad makes it bomb. Like I've had his. Like his is probably better than some restaurants I've had in Miami. Oh, I'm so excited. So. Did they. Did she say that they found it? She said they found it, but they didn't find any um, bread fruit or something like that. I stand corrected. Aki is a fruit, but it looked like some type of like bread to me, the way that it like is made, some type of like starch. So, anyways, Aki is a fruit. I'm wrong. We here. <laughs> what was that? It was a big bug. There's <laughs> always a bug on you. You buggy. Hello. How are you? What you clipping up there? Oh, it's called a traditional West. Indian dish, okay. ackee and saltfish. Oh, yeah. it looks Traditional. amazing. It smells really good in here too. Healthy cooking. It's so good. Okay. Oh, we healthy love healthy cooking. cooking. Yes. yes. Healthy cooking queen right there. I'm so excited. Yeah. It Ooh, smells so really good. good. I've been a minute. Lindsay's coming for me. I saw you in the pool yesterday. Did you have fun? Yes. Hi. I think he's off for his age. He's Okay, he's needy. I think so. I think so. Hello, guy, right? Hey. Um, hey. Did he do it at all? Good morning. I don't know. No, he I don't never know. did it with us. I thought you did it. We sat him on the potty, he, but he, he. I mean, like, some came out, but he didn't know that he was peeing. Okay. It was just like a couple drips. So, like, okay. I was cheering, but, like, yeah, 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 yeah. He didn't realize what oh. I was cheering. Hi. <laughs> hey vlog, do y'all remember Carrie? It's good. You remember how large I was? She used to only have one and now she got two. And this is my goddaughter, Kyla. Say hi. <gasps> she said hi. Yeah, she did. Oh, snap. <laughs> how gorgeous is she? And so is Carrie. You look beautiful today. Yes, Skin is glowing. Skin Thank is you. glowing. Thank you. Ace, you're a handsome boy. He's all over me right now. <laughs> Okay, I'm not gonna wake you up, I promise. I'm not, I'm not gonna wake you up. Put on a sweater. Oh. We went from like no babies in the family to only newborns. I know, the last two Oh, she farted. Vlogs. Yeah, she be farted, she farted on, me. <laughs> on your hand. She's so sweet, look at that. Oh am your god, mama. Yeah, I'm gonna get your nails done. We gonna play tennis. We can go to the UK to see your grandparents. So I have a reason to go over there. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, she's so sweet. Love her? Yes, I love her a lot. What is actually going on? <laughs> I had like a golf club in my hand and a shovel. I was like, I was just like hitting the ball. Cairo, look. There's no structure, right? Yeah. No. <laughs> Francesca over there lining up pine cones. That's what the pine cones are for. It makes so much sense now. Good job. You want to use this to hit the pine cones? Oh, yeah. That's Thank the right you. one. Oh, yeah. That hand eye coordination is so sharp, man. 
telling you, Olympics. We got to get you on the tennis court, boy. We got to get you on the tennis court. Remember, you got to go pee on the potty. He started peeing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, who pee, -pee? Like, I'm the baby. We got the plantains in there. Yeah, the plantains in there. And then just... And the dumplings. That's the dumplings. The dumplings? Yeah. And some avocado. And Ooh. some avocado. Yum. <laughs> the ackee. Beautiful. I missed him. I missed him. I know you did. Y'all remember we used to babysit him like five days a week. You know, we barely <laughs> see him. Look how big he is. <laughs> He looks so big. big. <laughs> We're like the same height now. Bye, Cairo. I love you. Okay, how do you feel about sawfish and ackee? Oh. What was your experience? It was so freaking yummy, honestly. <laughs> like, and with the plantains and the avocado, it was amazing. I don't, oh yeah, we show, I showed the vlog, the whole spread, but. Yeah, the spread was phenomenal. I loved tore it. it down. I loved it. We had a good time with all the, the whole family and the the babies and everything, so it was, it was good. But we did manage to reschedule our appointment, so we actually raced them back to the house now so that we can get there around the same time that the person comes to assembly. I keep saying assembly. Assemble. Assemble the furniture. Assemble! And then I wanna go to AT&T and get a new phone because my phone keeps acting up. Yo, we're driving and this guy started honking at us and we were like, okay, why is he honking at us? Like, we've been driving for like maybe 10 minutes. Yeah. And so I just... we, we pulled over to see what, we, what he was talking about. And um, Zach's mom's phone was on the back of our car. Just chilling on the back of the trunk. Like, so we could go back. What the hell? How did it not fall off? Y'all, it was just sitting like we were pulled over on the side of a Ram Street because one, we didn't know if he was like doing something sketchy, so we didn't want to pull over next to him because I knew it was nothing wrong with my car. But it was a phone in the back of our car. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> we just got our bed built. Yep, this bed right here. What is it? I did it. I did it all. You did what? I built it. What'd you build? The bed. You can't even. You can't come even. Come on, come on. Let's go. Okay. I'll show you. Alright, so as y'all know, a little recap. This guest bedroom over here is basically everything from our last apartment. <laughs> so this bedroom over here. We're starting fresh. Yes. But I didn't really build the bed frame. We paid for assembly, so the guy just did it. I love it. I like it too. A lot. It's cute. It's very cute. I feel like the most intimidating thing about this bed frame is that we got it from Walmart for really, really cheap. So I was really nervous, but I like it. I think we're going to go to the AT&T store. Yeah. You want a new phone so badly. I know. I mean, I could do without it to save money. I mean, how much money do you think it would be? I don't know. You have to like put a lot down. Do you? Yeah. And then, right? Should I just wait for the 15 to come out? It's like, okay, this this is what I do. When I want a new phone, I like get into my head and then like, it's like, I, I want a new phone. Yeah, but which phone do you have right now? I think it's the 12. I think so. Or the 11? I don't know. You have three cameras, so it might be. I think I it's the 12. I think the 12 too. But there's 13 and 14 now. Mm. And 15's coming out later, so I don't know what it was. Get a new phone. Do you, are you going to get a new one? It, I don't know. I know. Should we just wait? Oh, maybe we should wait. Okay. You feel so indecisive. All right, we're gonna wait. But for the record, AT and T, you have been messing up. My phone overheats all the time, and like, it always says temperature. Like, it does. I actually feel like you need a new phone. I don't need it as bad as you do. Mm. Your phone overheats like literally. If we're just sitting in the car, AC is running. Your phone overheats. If we step in the sun, your phone is overheating. Yeah, you're kind of right. Yeah. Hmm. All right, well, we'll see. We'll, we'll figure out. And go later. thrifting. Okay, let's go. And then you want to go thrifting. Yeah, I actually like, do. I do. I kind of want to go to the mall, Loki. You do want to go to the mall? Kind of. To get what? 
uh, a dress for the engagement party, or should I just keep looking online? Um, I mean, what are your chances of finding one at the mall? I don't know. I'll be finding stuff at the mall. I'm just throwing it out there. Especially when you're not in a rush and it's like, if we find something, okay, if we don't, no big deal. We got like a month. Okay. Well, we're going to decide what we'll, we'll do and we'll bring you guys along. Yeah. Our days kind of slowed down once we waited for the, like, because we were kind of planning to be like on the go, on the go, on the go. And then we had to come home and wait for him to finish assembling it. And it was like, now we're kind of like, you know us, we like to bail on plans. <laughs> Yeah, that bed looking mighty fine, mighty fine, but... And this girl looking mighty fine, mighty divine. We're still at the house. It's like an hour later. Well, that's okay. <laughs> I'm gonna make my baby a burger. And I'm gonna make myself one too. I want that apple kiss. It's so good, you wanna bite? No. Try it. No, thank you. I have, oh, it flashed right in my eye. <laughs> Dude, I, I saw that. My eye. You threw it right in my eye. Big cheek there. It's so good. Yum. Every vlog, I have like ten outfit changes. Yeah, because <laughs> you keep biting it. Baker hit the back of my neck. Don't touch it. Ew. I ate apples and it's just squirting on me and she's just chilling. Cause he wanted to do that. You want a burger? Yes, please. <laughs> what does that have to do with a burger? So to eat a burger, I gotta get apple on me. That that don't the math is not mathing. Last night I was like extremely anxious. Like my jaw was like locking and freaking me out a little bit. So I went into full anxiety attack. But I had a good little support system here. And you're, you're still feeling it today? I'm still feeling it today. Have you guys ever had lockjaw? I, like, I mean, not that you shouldn't be anxious because I know that's where your anxiety comes from. Yeah. But I was telling her that it's normal. Like, I mean, it's not normal to have it all the time. Mm -hmm. But, like, a lot of people randomly get it. And I had it about two years ago. I remember. And it was bad for, like, probably a couple months. Uh, well, it was, yeah, it was. Make you feel better, but it was. That didn't make me feel better, but it was bad. Yeah. But mine is like coming and going, coming and going. Like earlier when the guy was here doing the bed, I was like, it was like stuck. And I was like, oh, yeah. and I hate that feeling. It's not fun. Also, anxiety just wears me down. It tires me out. It makes me feel exhausted. And I'm exhausted. That's how I feel right now, y'all. Y'all know I normally come at y'all with high energy and, you know, I don't know, high energy. And I'm not feeling that high energy right now. So. Does that mean I have to sing and dance and rap for the vlog? I'm just saying, if you want to keep it going. <laughs> I mean, I feel like I could probably still rap. Oh. Um, All right, let's see. Thank God. <laughs> No, no. Go ahead, babe. Oh, no. How yeah. about you rap for me then? Because I'm the one that's anxious. We in the house. Yeah. We sound like mouse. Yeah. In this house. Okay. Like Mickey Mouse. Okay. She's my mini. Okay. I love her. Okay. She's my mini. Okay. She makes me purr. Oh, it's the pussy purr. The pussy purr. <laughs> I didn't want to say that, but I had nothing else, so I had to go for it. That was cute. I liked it. Thank you. You're welcome, babe. Mm -hmm. I know one thing we can do that is like low energy. That's wedding planning stuff, and I'm obsessed with wedding planning, and I'm not ashamed. Yeah. We can like mm -hmm. figure out our guest list or take a look at it and start to like figure out where we are with that. So we've agreed to 150 people max for our wedding. So that is 75 each. Well, we can we can invite I think like 155. Yeah. To be safe because the venue that we want we can only have 150 people. So we don't want to like invite too many people and then everybody, everybody says actually yes. shows up. Yeah. Right so it's 75 each, though, right? Yes. Okay, let me go look and see how many I got. I have 75 on the dot. Oh, you do? Yeah, I made a lot of cuts. Okay, you have 75. Yeah. And I think I have 85. Okay, so. So what's that? 85 plus 75. 
160. That's not bad. Initially, I had more people on my list, but the thing that people don't tell you about wedding lists is it could really go on and on and on if you don't make cuts. Like I know it sounds kind of harsh when I'm like, I had to cut people off, but initially I had the list a lot longer. If we could have, you know, if we could have y'all there, we would have y'all there. Yeah, exactly. But like the way that wedding venues do it is you pay per person for everything. Everything. Yeah. So like if you add a person, even if they're not going to eat everything or they're not going to drink it all, like you have to add that many, that much dollars per person. But also the biggest thing is the venue. Yeah. It's 150. It's 150 max. Period. So. Um, let me make sure I'm at 185. So yeah, I'm at 75. And the, the thing with my number was, okay, so for our guest list, like, what do they call it? Our oh, guest list. Never mind. Huh? How much? I'm at 89. Oh my god. But what about these two? I have them on mine. Oh, you do? Let me make sure. Yeah. Oh, okay, 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 okay. You might have other people that I have on mine. Oh, wait. It just recalculated. I don't know why it said that at first. The number was off, though. So. So yeah, I'm, that's good. Let me see your list. You can look at my list. Okay, so we're switching lists to see what's happening. Does this person need a plus one? Well, I told you she just got a dude, so I don't know. Okay. I mean, I won't, I'll decide. Okay. Basically. All right, so we got on. our guest list figured out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have our guest list figured out. One thing we did try to do with our guest list, it's, it kind of like had to be people that we at least like met, like at least, golly, I want to meet you for the first time on a wedding day. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be crazy. Like if you're so important, why I haven't met you in five years? If you're so important, why you never came to my house? If you're so important, I don't got one. We're about to answer a few of y'all's questions about the wedding. A big question that everybody keep asking is, will you wear a wedding dress to the wedding? Oh, y'all want to know that so bad. So bad. The people want to know, babe. The people want to know. They ask and they say, is she going to wear a wedding dress? Is she going to wear a wedding suit or whatever? What are you thinking? Do I want to tell y'all? For the wedding, I'm going to wear a dress. I think right now, what I'm gonna do is wear a dress for the ceremony and then for the reception change into like some sort of pantsuit or something like that. That's like perfect, I think, for me. I'm gonna be walking down the aisle to Lindsay in a dress. And we will not see each other's dresses until the day of the wedding. We're not doing a first look. We are possibly doing a first touch. Like this. Oh. We'll talk to each other and do a first touch. Less awkward than what y'all just saw. More like this. Okay, we can be back to back even. And I'll be like, how are you feeling? Are you feeling nervous? <laughs> I just would want to like turn around. And, like, I know. I'm, I just want to feel your butt. <laughs> but no, I will be like, I really would want to see you, but I don't want to see you until we go down the aisle. But the first touch, I feel like we'll at least, because we'll still like calm each other down in those moments. Yeah, I know. So. Yeah, okay. that'll be fun. Yeah. So yeah, first touch, not first look. Another question we had was, where is our wedding gonna be? We did highly consider our backyard for like maybe a week. <laughs> a second. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna do it in Miami because obviously I moved to Atlanta for Lindsay and my family has had to come up here time and time again for holidays. And I also have a bigger family than Lindsay does. So it makes more sense for us to get married in my hometown. We understand that in Miami right now, there's crazy anti-LGBTQ, anti-black laws and things that they're trying to pass. But unfortunately, I still have family there. Yeah. Like, it's not like we're doing like a destination wedding in Miami. Yeah. I literally have family there. Like it's my hometown. Yeah, it's so like, I, it would either have to be her home or my home. Exactly. So. Um, and like I have a lot of family in Florida too, so like mm -hmm. in like near the Orlando area, so traveling to Miami would, you know, be easier for them too. And then, um, like my friends and family who are here would love to go to Miami. Yeah. So, it <laughs> so works it out. just I mean it just works out. I'm excited for it to be in Miami. Yeah, and I'm excited to be home, and I'm excited 
um, for my fa for my family to all be able to go and attend the wedding because yeah. if it was anywhere else, it would be a lot harder for my family to go. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Will we invite any fans to the wedding? Well, y'all, we already answered that question. <laughs> we would love to invite y'all. Yeah. We would love to invite y'all. If we just can't, we just can't. We could afford it. Yeah. Like we want to invite more than 150 friends and family, like that we've met in our lives because obviously we consider you guys friends and family but i even had to cut people off my family list like i'm like yo when the last time i seen you oh okay sorry guys we love you guys and we'll have a lot of content for you so much but, content. like obviously it's already starting and we're not even a year <laughs> like it's more than a year away so yeah. just imagine the amount of content that you guys are gonna get and i'm know. doing hella content we're doing like our bridesmaids proposal boxes we're doing like y'all will get a lot of content next year we're not gonna leave y'all hanging we love y'all and if it wasn't for y'all we would not even be where we are right now in life so we appreciate y'all yes, yes but yes. also i heard a few people doing a tailgate in the parking lot go ahead slide bring you up in do a tailgate for you know do you know the old thing <laughs> that's also that's a no to the live streaming too oh yeah because like Live streaming is crazy. Oh, yeah. No, <laughs> like, that's crazy. Insane. That's insane. too raw, even for me. Like, I need y'all to see me when I'm cute, not when I'm double chinned up crying. Like, nah. Mm, no. Nah. How did we decide on a budget? We talked to our financial advisor. <laughs> we sure did. You got to be smart about it. You got to be smart about it. Yeah. And you got to start um, high because, or what was it? Well, like, whatever your budget is, you're probably going to go over. Mm -hmm. So just keep that in mind, basically. Yeah. I mean, and now, even doing the bare minimum for a wedding is way more than it used to be. Even, like, a couple years ago, like, my friends who have already gotten married, I was asking them how much they paid for, like, their photographer and mm -hmm. stuff. And it it was, like, way less. And then they went on their website to see what they're charging now, and it's, like, double. double. Yeah. So they were all like, oh, my God, I yeah. can't imagine. <laughs> it's yeah. So it's just sickening. But it, it, it's for a good cause. It is. What's for a good cause? The <laughs> amount of money that you're spending. Girl, I thought you meant like a charity. Is, oh, that, no. is that what I am? <laughs> no, a good cause. Like, it's for a good, like, it's a lot of money. A good but reason. Yeah, a, a good, good reason. reason. Yes, because I cannot wait to marry you yeah. and have a wedding to you. Yes. Mm. Have we gone dress shopping? No. Not yet. But, like, I already kind of know what I want, so. I already kind of know what I want, too. I don't feel like it's going to be hard for me to choose a wedding dress. Ooh, I, I, okay. The only reason why I feel like I'm going to struggle a little bit is because I've been seeing random dresses that I wouldn't consider my, my style, like, on people. Because now I get a lot of wedding content, and I'm like, damn, that's kind of fire. Like, I might want to, like, mm. try that. Because I feel like I don't, I just, I don't know. That's a day where you just pick whatever your gut goes. And my yeah. gut might not do my typical. Mm, okay. It might surprise me. Because also, I've never worn a wedding dress. I might look better in a certain shaped one than I imagined. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, that's definitely true. I just, for me personally, I think, like, there's only one, <laughs> one type of dress that I know that I love. Like, I've never looked at a wedding dress and been like, yeah. or, like, thought about, oh, I want this as my wedding dress. But then when we you know, have started planning a wedding, I'm like, I saw one, like, one dress, and I was like, okay, yeah, I like that. <laughs> so I hope it looks good on me. <laughs> Love how she's, like, tossing up the football, like, never saw a wedding yeah. <laughs> dress until blah, blah, blah. We're going to vlog our wedding dress shopping. Just know that. Y'all will be along for a lot of these steps. What's the ceremony looking like? What's the reception looking like? Yeah, so that has a lot to do with our venue that we are hopefully going to get. Um, we're just, like, doing the last little what is it like decision making yeah that, like uh checking all of our crossing our t's and dotting yeah, our yeah, i's yeah. before we like commit to the venue yeah. but um it's very like elegant modern vibes it is it is it started off more italian like lake what is it lake como vibes vintage and then we saw this venue and was like scrap that we actually really want to go modern. That's yeah. how much we loved it. It changed our entire style. It's going to be like modern, but we're trying not to like label it because if we like something that fits 
in with the decor that's not necessarily modern, it's okay. Exactly. And we're already queer, so there's nothing that fits us. And yeah, that's like another thing is we're not, I mean, yeah, of course it's traditional to have a wedding, but it's, I really am enjoying the fact that if we don't like something about a wedding, we're going to do it differently. I have a man of honor and a maid of honor because my best friend is a guy. So, yeah. Yeah. Is he just best man? It's man of honor. Okay, man of honor. See, we don't care. Um, <laughs> like, you know, we're thinking about who's going to walk us down the aisle. Like, if we're going to have more than just our dads walk us down. Or if we are going to have one person walk down first and then wait for the other one. Or if we can do something different. So, like, everything is, like, we can just make it however we want. We haven't even gotten the venue yet, y'all. Yeah. But... We are pretty, like, 99.9% .9 positive this is the venue we're going with because the day after we saw the venue, Lindsay was on her way on a work trip, and she texted me, and she was like, I can see us getting married at that venue. And I was like, oh, my God, I've been thinking about that all day. Well, like, it was just like whenever I pictured our wedding after that, I was, like, picturing it there. I wasn't picturing it anywhere else yeah you know so i was like okay well that's gotta be the one that's major okay let's throw the football now okay we're throwing a football if y'all want us to answer some more questions about the wedding on the next vlog comment below let us know and put your questions in the comments Y'all probably saw our house in other clips and other vlogs, but we got it painted. I've never seen a house with these colors before. It's just absolutely beautiful. <coughs> Lindsay did a lot of research before she picked the colors and she killed it. Like, have y'all ever seen a house with these colors? No. And you say, yes, you a hater. <laughs> and this is where we're having our engagement party in July. Yeah. It's going to be so pretty. It's the end of our day. It wasn't that eventful because... We didn't go out, but... Because <laughs> every day is not even... Oh, yeah. this is real. Yeah, real life. So we just took a shower. We hung out um, in the living room and watched some TV for a mm -hmm. while. Then we took a shower. And now we're going to... She's going to eat some ice cream. Yeah. Once well, it's going to give me some cuddles. And hopefully I can figure out what's making me anxious because I can't seem to pinpoint it. It's just life right now we're just gonna cuddle and go to sleep it's only like 8 30 or something but we're gonna hang out and, and yeah we're gonna hang it's a wrap but we hope you guys like the vlog thank you guys so much for watching we love you guys so much we'll see you next tuesday and as always don't forget to like comment subscribe period bye